on KQTV St. Joseph. This is KQ2 News at 6. A massive fire tears through a historic downtown building. Just, just completely mind-blowing at this point for me. Another piece of St. Joseph history lost. That was a pretty, pretty special building. It was the gym of the downtown area. So. Another one lost. Tonight, coverage of the old Toodle Opera House fire from the ground to the air to the moment the fire first broke out. Good evening, I'm Amber Smith. I'm Alan Van Zant. When fire responders arrived, they found the Pioneer Building at 5th and Francis Street fully engulfed in flames. KQ2's Emily Waring was there all day today. She joins us now in the newsroom with details of this massive fire. Alan, Amber, heavy smoke could be seen all across town as multiple crews tonight continue to work to put out the flames. Shortly after 10 this morning, crews arrived to the building, once known as a popular opera house, as flames were shooting from the top. It was believed to be vacant, but fire officials say there were rumors of people illegally living there. Unfortunately, a building behind also caught on fire. Multiple crews were called in to help the St. Joseph Fire Department as walls and bricks continued to fall. It appears as though the north wall is cracking and getting ready to fall. There are some, some larger cracks than were there an hour ago and even 15 minutes ago. So it is, seems to be gaining in speed on its way to the ground. Power was shot off to all the surrounding buildings as a safety precaution in case any other fires sparked. Luckily, no injuries have been reported. Multiple crews remain on scene at this time, as Nayland says they will be there throughout the night. Reporting live in the newsroom, Emily Waring, KQ2, your local news leader. The large flames in the sky drew in people from all across the city to watch crews fight the flames. Some of the people watching nearby say they've never seen anything like this in person, and many say they worry about the surrounding homes and businesses. Smoke rose high in the sky, captivating the attention of many. It's a huge event. It draws in the whole town. When crews told employees at Monty Law Firm they needed to evacuate, some people didn't think the fire would get this out of hand. It's very scary because I thought maybe it may have been like a small fire. But once they said that we had to evacuate the building and we realized that the fire was much bigger than what it was, I was really scared for, you know, my co-workers, all of us. And the fact this is this is my home, this is where, where I work at, thinking that, you know, everything could be lost today. Others watching nearby do not live or work downtown, but know many people who do. Watching this fire was very tragic because we have a lot of friends down here that own businesses. Um, some of them live down here as well. They say it is one thing to see a fire of this magnitude on TV, but it evokes a whole new level of emotion to see it up close and personal. This is like the first time for me ever being this close to something so, so serious, so dangerous. When we initially started smelling the smoke, it was very thick. We obviously knew it was a fire. Uh, just feeling the heat from off the fire, it basically told me how intense the fire was. While the extent of damage to buildings in the area is still unclear, many feel the community can come together to move past this. It's a tight-knit community. I think everyone's going to get together and help each other out. But it's very, very sad to see this happening. Fire officials want people to stay away because what is left of the building is unstable. Crews fear it might collapse. The Pioneer Building had a long and storied past in downtown St. Joseph. The building was originally constructed as the Toodle Opera House and had its first performance on December 9, 1872. It cost about $165,000 to build at the time, which would be the equivalent of $3.1 million today. It's said that Oscar Wilde once had a reading in the Opera House, and any entertainer of the era also performed there. At the time that was built, that was the finest opera house west of the Mississippi. It had a, a gas chandelier in it that had 176 jets in it that was sparked by electricity to start it. It had a collapsible floor that could be put out over the seating area and the orchestra pit so that the stage and the rest of the room was all one level so you could have dances. It was a remarkable structure. In the past, the building had also been used as office space. The most recent owners had tried to renovate the building into a low to moderate housing complex, but the city vetoed those plans. Neighbors say they've made numerous complaints about homeless people getting inside and stealing copper. The owners of the Pioneer Building are JES Holdings. They issued a statement today saying, we are disappointed and saddened with the loss of a piece of the city's historic past. We will thoroughly investigate the fire 
and cooperate with the city fire department and other departments in that regard. Hy-Vee stepped up to help firefighters who are on scene today, bringing them Gatorade, water, sandwiches, and other snacks to help emergency personnel keep fighting the fire. Crews have been on scene for several hours, battling to keep nearby businesses safe and trying to extinguish the flames. Store management says it was the least they could do for the people who risked their lives to save others. You know, from the length of this fire, we thought we'd better bring some more. So we brought down uh, a bunch of sandwiches and then Gatorade and water. You know, it's the least we can do. We have, you know, the community shop, so this the least we can do is give back when we can. They weren't the only ones helping emergency crews. Volunteer firefighters from Kansas City also brought supplies to the scene. We'll hear from them tonight on KQ2 News at 10. Some of you who live and work near the old Toodle Opera House turn to social media to share what you saw downtown today. KQ2's Christina Zagami has more on what she saw online today. She joins us now here in studio. Alan Amber, a lot of videos and photos came flooding into our Facebook page today, like this one you see here. You can take a look at just a few of these pictures that were shared with us. You can see that smoke was pouring out of the building. These were taken by a April Gardner Vale um, from across the street from the Pioneer Building this morning. And uh, Taylor Herrett also shared a few of her pictures. These ones were taken from a different angle, but also show just how much smoke was coming out from the fire. And take a look at this picture. This is from Judy Blizzard. She captured this firefighter high in the air as they fought to keep the fire from spreading. And next, we also have this video, just one more video to show you. This is from Mark McCann. It's actually a time lapse um, from this morning showing the moment that the fire broke out. Mark's camera is positioned on the third floor of the state building next door. He says the camera has been recording since August to catch the seasons changing, but he never thought he would actually catch something like this on camera. It's quite a remarkable video there. We're working on getting more pictures and videos posted for you, and you can see those on our Facebook page. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Christina Zagami with KQ2, your local news leader. All right, thanks, Christina. This is now the second major fire to destroy a downtown building in a month. You may remember this from late last month. Firefighters were called out to this massive fire at a vacant building on 3rd and Sylvania. The fire burned what had been the former home of the Mitchell Seed Company to the ground. Fire investigators say we may never know what caused that fire because damage is so heavy.